you know, the world surprises me when it comes to certain subjects. And once again, this subject is just, it's the same repeated thing over and over again. Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. The same franchise where people are so toxic that people stop the normal Star Wars fans from enjoying what they want to do. So, dive in to this video with me. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we're going to talk about why Star Wars is such a toxic community. My name is It's Abner James. Welcome to another video. Like many other Star Wars fans, we all fell in love with it when we were a young age. I was six years old when I first started watching Star Wars. Uh, I was introduced to the original trilogy, which is episode four, five, six, uh, by my dad. And we had the beautiful, lovely gold and black VHS special edition covers, even though my dad or my grandparents had the originals on VHS as well. We had the special edition one and we decided to have a look at to we decided over Christmas to sit down and watch it for the first time. And I absolutely fell in love with it. Fell, fell, fell in love with it. I thought it was really cool. Space with space wizards with uh, laser swords fighting each other, battle against good and evil. Could good prevail over evil, which they did, spoilers. And I really enjoyed it. And then when I was eight years old, I found out uh, from my dad that they're making new Star Wars trilogy, which was, I was excited, really, really excited. And it was telling the story of Luke Skywalker's father, Anakin Skywalker. So as an eight, eight and nine year old, I was ready for the new Star Wars film. And I remember sitting there watching Star Wars episode one, The Phantom Menace, nine years old, immersed in this world which at the time i didn't understand the graphic nature of it but looking back on it the cgi aspect of it was so incredibly advanced for what it was considering the last movie that came up before then was in 83 and then this one came out in 99 so almost 11 years or so 11 years or so maybe more than that uh my math's a little bit off but um quite close over a dec over a decade at least um since the last one and fans were excited now with star wars and the same and the same with the sequels uh you know kids who were probably about eight nine years old probably watched the original six movies and were excited when Disney announced that uh, the sequels to the movies were coming out. And majority really enjoyed, especially younger people, enjoyed Star Wars. And obviously with each, uh, which with each uh, thing that comes out, you know, fans who were fans of the, Star Wars fans who were the fans of the original trilogy, didn't like the prequels, and people who are fan of the prequels didn't like the sequels or a bit of both didn't like the sequels how they were made how they were portrayed now obviously between the nine movies in the skywalker saga you had side movies which were rogue one solo you know they were subsequently good as well i quite enjoyed them now why is star wars so toxic why 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 is ta star wars considered so toxic because people love this franchise people want to see this franchise grow and succeed and just be what it is however there are a handful of star wars fans out there who just absolutely crap on everything about what star wars is and you know oh this is like there's no uh normal storyline there's no there's a plot hole with this character there's a plot hole with that character and whatnot 
I mean, let, let's be frank here. Uh, Star Wars has a lot of plot holes in it, but it's Star Wars, okay? Star Wars is great. So, like a like a fan for me, I'm a big fan of Star Wars. Everything of the Star of Star Wars, I've loved. I love the original trilogy. I love the prequels and I love the sequels and I love the other movies in between as well. I loved every single bit of it. Why? Because I'm a fan of the movies. Um, over the last couple of years, you know, people are mourning on social medias, mourning on, you know, mourning everywhere they can, saying, oh, Disney is ruining Star Wars. They have this agenda and whatnot. And I would. For my opinion, I think that certain fans do um, bring politics into it. Uh, granted, some actors, some directors do it as well. There's a bit of both on both sides. However, I feel like sometimes, you know, when people bring the politics into it, um, it kind of ruins the fun out of star wars and i don't see it as a political anything um i don't see it, i don't see it as anything really i just see it as space wizards with laser swords good guys and bad guys the light side of the force dark side of the force who is the strongest in the galaxy usually it's the jedi the sith take over that for a while ruin the galaxy pretty much dictatorships wise and whatnot and then the jedi release the galaxy from you know it's it's quite it's quite a ironically it's quite a political thing especially nowadays um i like you know i do kind of feel like you know that we should be better off with everything that star wars should be you should enjoy star wars with your family with your friends doesn't matter your political status doesn't matter what you believe in like let's leave all that stuff out the window all right this might trigger a couple of people all right i don't i don't really care all right this is why star trek is probably considered better than star wars in some aspects because when star trek was made in 1966 Star Trek was made to show that humanity was inclusive. You know, Star Trek broke so many grounds by having a black actress as a predominant role, a, Ch a Japanese navigator, which by this point was not long after uh, World War II as well, a Russian uh a Russian ensign at the time was during the Cold War and whatnot, and just the inclusive of so many species and civilizations, you know, co co um, coordinating together, and it didn't really matter. And it's still, that platform still works today. This idea of like walk mentality, Star Star Trek was walk before the word walk was popular, you know, and it was. But now, with people tried to bring that kind of like diversity and that kind of uh you know inclusiveness into star wars i don't see anything be personal i don't see anything wrong with that i honestly don't see anything wrong with that because inclusivity is always a good thing to have because it makes us stronger it makes us better humans makes us better people you know and the world is so much hate hatred at the moment that it seeps into everything and everything i just wish that star wars fans directors companies uh even even star wars con content creators out there need to do a better job of being like okay we didn't like this let's not mourn about it let's not complain about it who cares don't like it don't watch it simple as at one point did we all go around and said i don't like this so you shouldn't like it either 
you know where did the gatekeeping start for star wars and i just think to myself you know this is why this franchise is being ruined by other people this is why this franchise is you know being destroyed by toxic you know to uh, people who are being toxic it doesn't matter if it's content creators people within the business people within the company actors directors presidents uh the average joe or jane you know star wars sh you should if you like star wars right i'm not saying don't you know you should like everything star wars if you don't like something that somebody's made star wars wise that's okay you're allowed to dislike it you are allowed to dislike what you don't like okay however if someone who says i love the prequels i love all it's like i love all the star wars stuff i feel like the prequels are better than the, the prequels are better than the original series but i think the original series but i right let me start that again if somebody came around and said i like the prequels better than the original series or if somebody said i like the sequels better than the other the last two saga the last two trilogies then that is okay people are allowed to say that okay if you turn around if somebody tells says that to you and you turn around and go you are wrong you're not a star wars fan you shouldn't like you should like this and this not this then you as that toxic person who's telling that person they shouldn't like what they like and you get butt hurt by that don't watch it get out to the community you've got no no right to tell people what you can't and cannot like no one i openly admit i like everything star wars i've enjoyed every single bit of star wars that has ever been been released whether it's movies tv shows books video games or not i've liked it all have i disliked several things yes i do i do i like the last jedi now but i didn't like the last jedi when it first came out i don't like the attack of the clones i don't like that i don't like a new hope all right those three are my bought last three but my bottom three movies no particular order but those those three movies are at my bottom of my list the top of my list people will be surprised rogue one is my top star wars movie of all time empire strikes back is number two for me and phantom menace is number three why is the phantom menace number three for me because it was the first star wars movie that i watched in the cinema and i loved it all right and if you come into the comments feel free to come into the comments everyone is allowed their opinion i'm not going to shit on your opinion all right but if you're actually going to come in to my comments and say uh you need like, like uh, on my podcast before someone commented on my star wars episode one uh episode which is the first episode and i did a revisit version of that episode uh saying that i was completely wrong and i was using the nostalgia purpose of star wars episode one phantom menace to cloud my judgment on how i feel about the movie even though i sickly said in the podcast that it's subjective my my like for the movie is completely subjective i like it if you don't like it who cares right if you don't like it whatever that's fine don't like it whatever but you got no right to come into somebody to go near to go to somebody and say you are wrong this is why this this is why the star wars community is very very toxic very very toxic and it's a shame because star wars has been around now for over 40 years well close to 50 years now probably all right and it's you know when are we as people as fans of this beautiful amazing franchise gonna turn around and go do you know what it's okay that i like this it's okay that i don't like this let's just enjoy let's just enjoy 
the franchise that we grew up watching now not saying everybody's toxic not saying that at all everybody all right and there probably is like so if it was like i don't know say, say we had a pie all right cut it into eight slices okay probably say what four slices of that pie are probably the toxic people in the community of star wars and the rest are the people who just look at star wars and go i love star wars i want to watch star wars i don't give a fuck about your political views i don't give a fuck about anything let me enjoy the show that is it that is literally it and you know if you're watching this video it's not a very good video i apologize this is literally rambling off my head this isn't there isn't going to be clips or anything like that this is just full on chat if you're like me who likes star wars just like star wars likes a lot of it dislikes one or two things about it but you're primarily enjoys it just because you enjoy it then put in the comments below what you love about star wars and if you're somebody who just likes one part of star wars but hates everything comment down below why you don't like it feel free to i will respond to your comments all right however there is a stipulation with that you have to have a good if you don't like something give it a good reason other than this is walk this is this this is that whatever who cares about political affiliation i don't give a fuck about that right why don't you like star wars and if you comment read well they're trying to put this in this in. i'm not gonna listen to it you have to have a genuine reason why you don't like star wars right if you come in if you come in and say i don't like the way they portray, they portrayed luke skywalker in the last jedi fair enough that's a good comment that's a good ne that's a good comment please put that in however if it's going to be if your comments are going to be like racial homophobic uh you know all all the shit that i don't want to see right i don't, I don't want to be associated with then whatever i don't care so moral story end in this video star wars fans let's be better let's just enjoy this franchise for what it is and for everybody who is like me who loves star wars connect to me i want to hear you i want to see you i want to i want to i want to connect and i want to enjoy have friends with star wars i just have fun you know sit down and relax and just have fun and reminisce and enjoy what's coming on that said i love everything that star wars is and what it is and, what, and what's happening with it right now uh two episodes in into the acolyte I'm not too sure what the acolyte is all about looks good to be a potential good series but we're two episodes in at the moment a lot of negative views on acolyte from content creators which is fucking standard but i guarantee you if the show gets better through that i will think those same people who are like i don't like this i don't like that will end up saying oh i love it it's great keep an eye out i guarantee you because the toxic star wars creators are normally the most hypocritical ones right that's not throwing shade at anybody let's just generalize and that is fact all right don't believe that that's your opinion this is my opinion if you don't agree if you agree with it great if you don't agree with it great it's your opinion all right have a good one guys see you in the next video and let's be better